Thank you for your uh, revealing speech. I'm Bing Montalan, Master Management 76 alumnus at AIM. Mm, as part of uh, China's confidence building measure, and partly to uh, Asianize China, is there an effort to send China students to AIM? and professors, and to encourage exchange of faculty and students. Thank you. Uh, I know AIM is very uh, respected, uh, <laughs> prestige uh, institution. Uh, uh, I cannot be, speak on behalf of the authorities in China, but uh, to my opinion, uh, we are more than ready to send students. So, I am. Uh, maybe later on we can do some uh, changes, uh, discussions uh, of this particular <laughs> cooperation. Yes. Yeah, I think we have time for uh, a few more, two questions. Uh, we'll have one here. Uh, thank you for your enlightening and being, uh, presentation and being open to the questions. I'd like to know uh, you are. You have a bit of power with respect to the Security Council and the United Nations. Uh, when it comes to, when push comes to show and the interests of the China mainland are compromised in favor or against the interests of the whole, whole world, global community, uh, are you willing to sacrifice your vote? <laughs> Um, you were earlier saying that uh, uh, you are willing to go into exploration and set aside disputes. Uh, I think one of the big companies, speaking companies now, is uh, wants or has is trying to talk to CNOOC to get exploration going in the lead bank. What are the chances of that happening and when? That's my first question. The second question is in the uh, uh, Geopolitical and the, uh, and the balance of power in the region, what role do you think uh, Japan and the US will play? Uh, so, two questions. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, for the first question, I think uh, you have read uh, from the media here yeah, the that uh, uh, the companies from China, the companies from the Philippines, uh, we are now engaging in some kind of uh, discussions uh, to explore the possibilities to have uh, uh, some kind of a cooperation. I don't know what, what type of cooperation. We are still in a very initial stage and uh, discuss about the uh, possibilities and possibilities of cooperation and uh, exploring the, uh, uh, the way back. Yeah. Mm. So, Maybe I'm, I know as much as you do <laughs> about the discussions. And then about the role played by uh, Japan and, and the US, uh, 
I think especially for U.S. because Japan is also an Asian country. For, for U.S., uh, there has been many uh, speculations, uh, especially about uh, China and U.S. relations and so on. Uh, uh, I think uh, these relations, as the two leaders put it, uh, uh, are the most important and the complex uh, relations in the world. Uh, important is that uh, uh, to, uh, each side has attached a great importance on uh, nurturing uh, this relationship. And uh, uh, China sees the U.S. as too important uh, uh, cooperation partner and vice versa. And uh, uh, neither side can uh, deny the fact that we, we must have cooperation uh, with each other. <coughs> Complex is that uh, while we cooperate uh, with each other, uh, there are some uh, constraints and uh, uh, challenges uh, facing this uh, relationship. <coughs> But on the whole, I think the two sides uh, uh, are full of fully aware of the responsibilities they shoulder uh, in their relations and uh, also about their implications of the relations to Asia Pacific and to the world at large. As, as we believe that uh, uh, one uh, engaging in uh, cooperation and uh, two will win. It is, it is win-win. But the uh, one engaged in confrontation is the lose uh, to both sides. Uh, I think uh, very recently the two sides have reached uh, some kind of uh, uh, agreement that uh, we should explore a uh, new type of uh, uh, relationship among the major uh, countries. Uh, that is to break away from the old pattern of uh, uh, relationship uh, where the uh, emerging country is bound to challenge the established uh, major powers. So uh, the new relationship should be characterized by the mutual trust and uh, uh, win-win cooperation. Uh, so that is the, our pursuit, our pursuit uh, in our relations with the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that's as much time as we have for, the, uh, for this uh, ambassador's forum. Uh, I, I do want, to, in closing, I, I do want to uh, to thank uh, Her Excellency Ma Peiching for uh, for having uh, shared with us uh, the, her thoughts on uh, moving forward. Uh, tough questions, uh, and I think uh, answered uh, diplomatically, uh, but I think it would also uh, there are some hints about uh, where we go. Yes, I do. Um, there is a. Uh, let me. Uh, before I, I, I share the token from uh, AIM, um, I do want to say that the, the relations between Philippines and China are, are going to, uh, in the next few years, are going to come together. Uh, in a way that uh, I hope would be very constructive. Uh, in 20, well, next year, uh, as uh, Her Excellency uh, mentioned at the Guangxi Expo, uh, Philippines will be the, the country uh, of honor, uh, and that should certainly say something about the relationships that we have. But uh, in 2014, uh, I believe China is going to be the, the chair for APEC. I believe, I believe in the in the. I believe that is the succession. Uh, but in 2015, 
uh, the Philippines will be the APEC chair. And in the APEC relationship, uh, the chair, the, the, the host country for the year, works with the preceding host and the succeeding host. So in 2014 and 2015, China and the Philippines uh, will be together in APEC uh, for two years. Uh, and that's important because APEC as a body um, uh, is really building is really building blocks one on top of the other. And I think this is a, an important part of development in the region. So ladies and gentlemen, please join me in thanking uh, Her Excellency Ma Ching. Uh, and uh, I'd like to share with her uh, this book and the memoirs of our chair, Mr. Washington C.C. I would announce uh, when the next ambassador's forum would be. Unfortunately, uh, it will not be until January, uh, owing that it is coming to the end of our school year, and on December 9th, we have our graduation, uh, after which time uh, students will be gone from campus. So uh, we will inform everybody of our new program starting in 2013. Thank you very much. Thank you.